Hello my friends, here's Bayan. In this video I'm gonna show you how to use the hard track, safe and sound isolation for sound, easy step, and let's get a rock and roll. Okay, this is a look at it. This is the head track. You see the shape of it. So I'm just gonna use it in here for the ceiling. It's gonna be a separate unit upstairs. It's about it. The intention here, like you guys can see, I just show you guys. You can see it's not tucked the wall. It's about a quarter inch from its side. You can see this other side. About quarter inch in there. Quarter inch space. Once we look the other side, you can see that we have a space there too. One there is very close, but we still have some space on it. How does how it works is you see here, we're gonna have a space that the sound can travel. And uh, we just have, you see, a few screws to hold it together. And the contact, the point of contact for the dryer would be just on those points, right? Few screws holding up. And that is how we eliminate some of the sound. And this is very easy. You just screw it on and in here on the corner I just like to put inch and a half to two inches space from the wall that way when you screw they put the screw on it's very easy to do the screwing okay let's uh, let's put one this up and I, I show you guys nice and easy process I keep them about uh, 16 inch apart here I have the light in the middle of the room I'm gonna fold the line in there so once I put it you guys can see I have a little space, space in here a little space on the other side and I'm just gonna use a regular dry oil screw for it and this is a uh, strong stuff else you can just screw one side I'm just gonna screw both sides here is pretty flat everything starts but if your ceiling is not straight you can put some shim some stuff to make the ceiling really straight so we just screw it on and then we're gonna screw the dry on it and like I mentioned to you the hard track is not like Resba this guy is stronger right I can hang on this stuff look this is strong you put the screws, you can hang your dryer very strong, just use fine thread the screws once you put the dryer on. And if you use half inch dryer, you can use even one inch screws. That way not make sure that it's not gonna touch the joist. In this case here with the hard track, even if I use the regular screws. Let me see that. This is an inch and a quarter. It screws this course of course we're gonna use the fine thread for the once we hang the dryer but you see here even if you put right on top of the joist with the half inch dryer it's not gonna touch the joist so there it is yeah the main point point here is to have a uh, less contact with the joist with the dryer as possible so right now the contact that we have are those screws and some of the vibration if somebody walk up a lot of the vibration just gonna lose by the time this uh, the vibration travel from this wood from the joist to the rest bar to the dryer it's gonna lose uh, most of it and this is how you do it i'm gonna keep going here and i just make a video clip when uh, i'm done with the corner, I explain how to do the small corners too. Let me rock and roll here. And this is one very much one person job. They are very stiff, right? Like you guys can see, you put it up, it stay up. They just uh, don't move, right? And then we just move, we give that little space over there and very much screw it on, right? Yeah, my friend, here we have a uh, the smoke detector box once we put the hard track of course this one gonna be too high I just gonna bring it down to the height of the dryer all I gonna do I have a little strip of dryer in here I just gonna very much put it in here beside it like okay let me unscrew this guy first let's drop it down very much what I gonna do here I could do just the way it is but just to show you if you have any doubt you just see the side is holding there I'm just gonna put a screw on the dryer like you guys can see the box is just like sitting right on the dryer all I have to do very much not have to think just gonna put few screws and then I just can remove it 
done. You guys can see the box is uh, lower now, and we good to go. So you do that just to get the measurement. The dryer is just to get my right measurement. You can see the in case of this box has those little clips in there. I just let it sit on in, on top of the dryer. You see the little clips in there. I just put the dryer right there. Eh? Just sit right on the dryer, and then I have my half inch in there. Yeah, you can see the. The hard track is a little bit off because you have the box, so you have to stay away from the box a little bit. In this case, here is not a problem because we're gonna have a full sheet from side to side. And here we're doing the sound isolation. Once I have the hard track up, I'm gonna go and I'm gonna fill in some more isolation right where we have those pipes, where the whole isolation will hold up there, right on top of the hard track. I'm gonna show you guys in here. Suppose that you short. And you have a few pieces left. The trick is just very simple, right? You just can use this uh, piece to make a join. How much you just can uh, put one there or two like this one. In this case here, I just leave my space right where we have it in there. I screw it on. You can see the other piece that I was the join in there. Like you guys can see here. I'm just gonna pull it that way. You guys can see. You have a joint or if you guys prefer you can just put on top of this one could go back see just this is space is important because if you touch the wall with the the hard track gonna cut the vibration from this wall so the thing is just so the time leave a little space this is how you make the joint so you just uh, put the screen there you cut both pieces and we're good to go and we could use resva in here but the resva would be a little bit too short like you guys can see we have the trap from upstairs we just clear it by a uh, right now probably by 38 or something like that so we're good in here this is why we're doing it with uh, the hard track instead of a uh, resva this one is hot in the wall so i'm just gonna Cut a little bit on it. It's gonna pull a little bit away from the wall. You guys can see more or less. It's just uh, I have more or less maybe an inch and a half to two inches in there. The reason is if you, if you put too close, sometimes it's hard to screws. And when you're doing the dryer, you have a good position to put the screw on without uh, have to have the gun on angle. And it's about it. We'll be out of here, here guys on this corner I just gonna see here I need the backing I'm just gonna grab one of this piece so even if it's a little bit longer doesn't matter much all you want is to have some uh, backing here for the drywall and we done this room like you guys can see nice and easy very much you can you can improve the quality of the sound prevent the noise from your house quite a bit with this material it's not like a hundred percent sound proof because all the time is sound is very hard to deal with but we can eliminate quite a bit of the steps from upstairs okay guys i love you guys please put your thumbs up subscribe and we have many videos there if you want to see some half off in terms of a renovation just Check them out and leave your comments. And if you want to watch any videos related to construction, just let us know. We do our best to have it done for you.